talking about defense um the last two games you got it jamal murray and you got it kd two tough tasks how do you feel like you've done it and you know in those situations too as well uh i think i've done all right uh, i could do better i mean i'm, I'm going to do better i'm going to do a lot better uh, i mean I've, I've been there done that before i've, I've guarded you know, the best players on when i was back in atlanta and stuff like that so it's not like a it's not brand new to me um but i know i can, I can control that side of the ball so i'm, I'm how challenging is that just coming off the bench kind of cold and then immediately being, you know, thrown into a matchup like that? I would say it was hard when I first started. But I kind of got used to it. I come in the gym and just start firing up threes, you know what I'm saying? So that's how it is in the game. So it's not really a big deal. Do a couple of toe raises and I'm good. So that's it. <laughs> what kind of feedback have you gotten from the coaching staff so far on the way you play played through two games? Um, honestly, like I just said, I was really just Continue to hone in on the defensive end of the ball, and then offensive come. You know, with with, the, with time, it'll just you know, it'll, it'll develop better. And, you know, so right now, I'm just focused on shooting when I'm open, making the right play, and then uh, just being locked in on defense. When did it become clear to you that you would have this role in the rotation? Was it during training camp? Was it during preseason? Would you know that you would be more efficient in the rotation uh, the first couple of months? Just mean like. Uh, with defense and just being, you know, getting consistent minutes, at least through the first couple of games. I mean, I feel like you don't really know. <clears throat> like, it's kind of, the world could change, like, every day in the NBA. You know, the injuries, a lot of things that go into it. Um, I just try to stay ready in all aspects, prepare for, you know, anything, prepare for the worst. So, whatever my role is that night, that's just what it is. I look at the best of my ability. Tomorrow's the 20th anniversary of Bob's first game. It was actually in Sacramento, just like you guys are playing there tomorrow. Do you remember when you were a kid, the, the first time you became conscious of LeBron, your first memories of, of this, this guy? 
first memory. You know, I don't remember that. Oh, I just know he's you can't miss the guy. I, mean, <laughs> I don't have any back. Let me ask you this way. As you started to pursue a life in basketball, what did LeBron represent to you? Like dominance. I mean, I feel like as a kid, he came in with 03. I was born in 99. So he's like, my whole life, he's been dominant. You know what I'm saying? So. That's pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> Cam, you, you've been a player really known in high school for your offensive ability, too. Do you feel like there's going to be a chance where you get a chance to get more freedom with your offensive ability and be able to showca showcase that, too, as well? Man, I pray to God every day that I get the opportunity. One day, to, hopefully one day it comes. If not, continue to work hard. It's okay. I mean, I'm still blessed with being in the NBA, man, so I'm just making the most of what, I, what I'm giving. You know, go forward from there follow you, of course, early in the game, and then your coach calls a timeout, challenge it. What, uh, for you, talking about playing defense, what's the first indication for you that like, I'm in for this, but bad, everybody else is also on the board with this? Yeah, I mean, I try to, I mean, refs, they, they do a good job of playing off of reputation. And I'm a guy that's reputation is probably get beat off the dribble, um, foul. So whenever I'm not doing those things, I want to be rewarded with that. I don't want to get rewarded with a foul when I play great D or got a block and then soon there's a foul. So I just try to make it notice that I'm trying to be better at defense, so don't assume. Ken told us that you guys they are locker mates and he's appreciated the feedback you've given him so far. What do you what do you see in him? What are you um, as a veteran teammate, what are you looking to help him out with? Uh, remind me of myself a lot, you know, coming to the league, not really knowing how to be a professional, and you get, you know, judged by that, you know. So figuring out a way to just change your professionalism and, and do the opposite of everything you've been doing, because obviously the perception of you is what it is, and you can't change it. And then you can change is your approach. So forget the past and just change your approach and, and, and try to work on your professionalism and how you carry yourself, understand the perception of you and what they say, what it looks like. Just understanding that as a young player. As a young player, it takes you to bump your head a few times to realize your perception. So now you got an opportunity around a bunch of vets, a bunch of guys that can help you. Listen, do more. Do, do the opposite of what you've been doing. Um, I told him I was, when I got to Brooklyn, that was my time of kind of going through what he's going through, down to the team. And I get to Brooklyn and I met Joe Harris and I followed Joe Harris. I, fought, I walked like him. I tried to be there at the gym when he got there. When he left, is when I thought about leaving. I was just on his whole regimen. And I found my regimen within that, but he was a guy that I wanted to to, to learn how to be a professional from. So. These first two games, he's gotten a shot. Really, a defensive assignment in both these yeah. games. How do you feel like he's handled it so far? I feel like he's doing well. The first few games, um, now that he's he, he knows that he's going to be a defender for us to, to get on the floor and everything else is going to take care of itself. But to get on the floor, we got to guard the Kevin Durant of the world. So for him, knowing that, recognizing that, and embracing the challenge is the next step for him. How, how tough can that be for a, a younger player? You know, you, you get drafted high, you may not work out first destination or so, but then you kind of have to change your approach, and focus less on all right scoring, focus on defense, focus on rebounding, yeah. other things of the game. I mean, just self awareness is one key, but you got to blame the organizations for that, respectively. You got to blame the organizations because organizations are deciding to go youth and younger. So when you don't have those vets in that locker room. Decide to go younger. And the product that you get, you, know, you are what you hang around. And me, I, I came. I had a bunch of vets around me, and um, obviously, I wasn't listening. So, to come in and listen and do is a different thing. But to know that you, you got to be better. You got to be better is the first thing. You and Gabe uh, played a lot of minutes together the other the other night. What's that process been like? Uh, figuring out how to play with each other on ball, off ball. Yeah, it's a good. It's a good. It's a good learning process for us. Um, Obviously, it's the first few games, got a few, few preseasons under our belt, but um, it's something that's going to be a working process too. For us, we gotta figure out ways to to be um, be effective within each other. You know what I mean? Like, how can I help him? How can he help me? You know, because we do so much of carrying the load of helping everybody else. You know, being that point guard on the team, having a way of having some type of action between me and him to where we can help each other. I think the overtime, that's where it'll happen for us. Has there been any continuity that you've been able to sort of feel compared to last season and so far this year? We're working on it. We're working on it. Um, I think we, we're working on so many different things right now. Um, once you kind of get comfortable knowing where you're going to be, when you're going to be subbed, things
things like that helps you find that rhythm within the teammates, guys you're gonna be on the floor with. D'Lo might have to start calling you Coach D'Lo because last, last, last game uh, at Denver, you had told Bron that you wanted him more in the pick and roll. Yeah. Majority of his buckets in that fourth came out of the pick and roll. Yeah. Were you talking about him being a screener or are you talking about him both being an on-ball and a screener too? Both, but just knowing that it's, it's LeBron James running into a ball screen and um, knowing that teams see that everybody's watching. So sometimes it's going to be within the action, making it easy for him, hitting him in the pocket. Sometimes it's going to be you just being in there and the gravitation, the gravitational effect that you're going to have by just being in the action is going to allow guys like myself, Gabe, AR, guys like that to kind of get easy on us, you know. So I think just utilizing him in every every uh, category you can. Looking ahead to tomorrow, there's a lot of talent in the period right now. Yeah. There's a lot of talent in the backcourt. Matchup with De'Aaron Fox, like, what goes through your mind heading into that one? Uh, I mean, I've been a fan of his game for a long time and his development and how he's been a lefty and things that he does he does throughout the game in the Florida game. I try to add to my game, you know, some dangerous in the floater, midi. Um, and he's on the other side of the floor. A lot of people are, you know, used to guys coming off going right, you know, that right side. Just to be on that left side, it's just, it's just unfamiliar with the defense. So I, I pick up a lot of things from him and that speed. Him being able to control his speed now is something he's developed over time. I don't look at it as an individual matchup, honestly. I'm mean, just trying to get the win, focusing on the defensive um, strategies and what we're going to do defensively. That's how I approach it. Maybe years before, I was looking at the matchup, but I don't really care about the matchup anymore. Thanks, Appreciate it, my dog.